I could show you all the palm trees, beautiful beaches, but if I don't show you this, then I don't show you Los Angeles because this is very much LA. Not all the people that you see here on Skid Row are on drugs. There's plenty of people that are sober, plenty of people that, you know, have just found themselves in a rough situation. Now, the city of Los Angeles has tried to clean this up and the state has tried to clean this up many of times. However, they have failed consistently. Like what, what is that man doing? Look at him only in los angeles like what is going on here oh my god look at the homie <laughs> oh shit yeah yeah hey <laughs> i see you bro i see you oh my god hey he does the move i see you bro hey that's jesus, jesus baby jesus baby and hey, that's hard you got the moves bro what's up everybody welcome back to another beautiful day here in southern california today i'm in downtown los angeles and today we're actually gonna go on a little drive around skid row one of the most densely populated homeless communities in the entire world now downtown los angeles is a beautiful area it has a lot to offer a lot of trendy cafes restaurants they got the jewelry district the flower district fashion district there's a lot to do here in downtown Los Angeles, but unfortunately over the past uh, couple of decades, it has really fallen apart and it's turned into, you know, not the most beautiful area of the city and not the most desirable to walk around, which is quite unfortunate because um, over the course of the last few years, they've tried to recover the downtown area here in Los Angeles. They've tried to make it one of those trendy places where people, want to come and walk around but time and time again um you know it continues to fail they keep trying to save all of the small businesses but unfortunately due to the high crime rates and homeless population in the area businesses tend to continue to shut down and you know not prosper to their full potential which is quite sad but um, unfortunately part of the reality here in Los Angeles now the architecture of downtown LA is one of the main reasons why I love coming down here I mean look at all of these old theaters that you can tell at one point in time were, ex were extremely trendy you got um, the, the old Pantages theater here in front of us then it's that one's called Cameo you got another one over there called the Roxy theater the buildings are all super beautiful and you know, although everything around the buildings are falling apart, the buildings themselves seem to be very well maintained and preserved. But like I mentioned, I'm actually got, not gonna walk around Skid Row um, on my own with the camera because, you know, it tends to be pretty rough, pretty dangerous. So we're gonna jump into the car now and start a small 20, 30 minute drive around. And I'm gonna show you guys what the most densely populated homeless air, uh, community looks like here in america all right well here's the car let's jump on in and let's start this drive around skid row hello hello, hello. how are you are you joining me on this video of course <laughs> for those of you guys who don't know who gladys is her name is gladys Sayada and hello she's a very special girl <laughs> what an introduction here. Thank you. And I'm here to drive around downtown LA with you guys. Yes. So let's start this little drive. I'm going to show you guys around, show you a little bit of the Skid Row area, but also show you guys a bit of this um, incredible architecture that can be found here in Los Angeles. Yeah, I was here sitting, waiting for you, looking at that. Look how beautiful that building. Of course, it's like not well preserved right now, but uh, you can tell it wasn't a theater and also this one right here look it also has it still has that um yeah that's board. like the board the board where you where they would put like the movie names exactly. huh? exactly the movie and the actors names and also you can see over there the sign that says broadway theater district wow so this was we need to come we need to come place. and make a video just about broadway <gasps> Oh my God, just about historical buildings would be awesome. Like that the would most be awesome. historical buildings in LA. What that would be super think? cool. 
I think that's a good idea. Let us know down in the comments though. And let us know throughout this video um, what other things you want to see from Southern California because we are heading off to Asia very soon but we do got a little bit more time to make other videos here in the area but um, I always like jotting down these like, those ideas for future visits yes. so let's explore let's Ooh, drive around let's go. now I'm in the car guys and I'm off of Broadway in 6th and the downtown area here in Los Angeles it's super beautiful I mean look at the architecture it's kind of a um, I mean it's very sad that it's actually been forgotten about but you have all of these like old theaters look at this um theater los angeles theater over here we have the palace theater and yeah this here is broadway so this is where all of the musicals the theaters used to exist in the 40s 50s and 60s but obviously through time they've been forgotten about and a lot of it has to do with the high crime rate here in downtown los angeles but as you can see the architecture is super beautiful it's just that well you know there's a very large homeless population as i mentioned the crime rate is super high so it's not the safest place to walk around and a lot of the businesses that used to exist or coexist here in this neighborhood have actually moved out um far away from the downtown los angeles area now look at this theater this theater was actually taken over by the apple store so it's an apple store inside of one of the vintage theaters over here we have a starbucks jewelry store the chapman might be like a hotel of some sort very cool vibes now gladys is in the car with me as well she's all cozied up but gladys you being someone that's not born and raised in los angeles in california what do you think what comes to your mind when you're when you're wandering around this downtown area mm, it's very beautiful it's very uh, a historical place because i don't know if la start from here but for sure this was the place where everybody like arrived to the city on the trains and they make they used to make the life here so it's a very special place to visit i love the historical buildings like this one where apple is it that's the tower theater look how beautiful and it's really amazing that they keep the they keep them well preserved even when the situation around it's very rough it's very sad yeah you it's know, a very because, rough situation yeah there's very, there's a lot of homeless people here but this is a, an, an awesome place i mean there's so many things to see the library Look, there's another theater here, United United Artists, Artists Theater. Yeah, this is a place where a lot of things happen uh, around the 20s, 30s, 40s, around that time. Yeah, it's super interesting. Now, last year I actually came here with Gladys because they actually have the Cecil Hotel here as well, which is actually like one of the most ho um, haunted hotels in the world. And it actually just became very popular because of the Netflix series. What was it called again? We watched the whole thing, but yeah, it's not a series; it's a documentary. What was it called again, though? Uh, Cecil. Oh, Cecil. I think so. Hotel Cecil. Oh, no, oh man, we might be wrong about that, but we we definitely well, binge watched the whole thing last uh, last summer. Was it? Yeah, it's a documentary about uh, murder. Murder, the, a murder that took place there. So you guys should definitely read about that. Now, the reason why I'm actually not getting out of the car to walk around the Skid Row area is because, well, it's actually very dangerous. Last time we, we came out here, Gladys was actually making a little video and people get pretty upset about the camera. And you gotta really understand, I mean, people are at, are at the lowest points of their lives here on these streets. And a lot of them are also not sober. Now. I always like to um, talk about this as well. I mean, look at this poor man just passed out on the corner. Um, I always like to talk about this as well. All the people, not all the people that you see here on Skid Row are on drugs. There's plenty of people that are sober, plenty of people that, you know, have just found themselves in a rough situation. And unfortunately, this is how they end up. Um, there's actually a very popular saying that's, that I read a few months ago. Actually, I didn't read it. Somebody told me. Um, that most people in the world, about 90% of the people in the world are really just uh, one unfortunate event away from being homeless. And that has to do with, you know, um, there's a lot of people that don't have a strong family, a strong support system, a strong friend group, and all it takes is one rough situation in your life 
to end up out on the road like some of these people or all it takes is for you to smoke something once in your life shoot something up your vein once in your life and everything is downhill from there on so right now we're gonna dive on into the skid row area i'm just gonna sit down in my car chop it up with you guys show you around the area gladys is gonna help me out today and it's gonna be nice to have a different input as well because i love sitting here and reflecting on these kind of areas with gladys because she's from venezuela and you know even with all of the crazy stuff going on in venezuela i must say after spending what almost four months in your country i didn't see i saw very few homeless people in comparison to what you see here in los angeles one of the biggest um cities in the world and a city that's you know so-called first world oh i see a lot God. of third world stuff here this is the fabric area yeah this is like the fashion district oh this is awesome it's super nice so here in downtown los angeles where they uh, in the area that actually surrounds skid row you can find the fashion district and the flower district and it gets extremely popping out here man rough days they got a taco house over here a bunch of parking lots but you guys are gonna notice man I get quite kind of embarrassed about this part of Los Angeles being from Los Angeles because it really breaks my heart seeing you know a city that so many people look up to around the world just falling apart and I wish I could say that you know this only exists in on skid row but guys the sad reality of what's going on here in the u.s right now is that most places in los angeles in long beach where i live man are starting to look the same i mean i gotta take these glasses off there's like it's really hard to see from inside the car but um you driving around los angeles long beach you see homeless people absolutely everywhere these days and the situation's not getting any better at all so yeah right now we're gonna turn left here on wall street and we're gonna start diving on into the skid row area now skid row is approximately 50 blocks long here in downtown los angeles and it's actually been around for many years now skid row actually came to be um in the 30s and 40s and that is because the construction of the railroad had actually ended here in this area at the Union Station of Los Angeles and many of the workers um, had come from all around the US to this part of California to help build the railroad and from one day to the next they were left without jobs without money and many of them um, became strung out on drugs because of the long hours that they were working so yeah these are this is what um the beginning of skid row looks like you see tents everywhere um unfortunately yeah you can see syringes look they're smoking drugs wow that was pretty rough to see but this whole area you find a lot of people that are suffering i mean it's a rough life out here now the city of los angeles has tried to clean this up and the state has tried to clean this up many of times however they have failed consistently time and time again they have failed to clean this up and well a lot of it has to do with there are many people that want help but there are also many people that are just very much content with living this life and it doesn't matter what time of day you come on out here there's always volunteers there's always people out um trying to help these individuals that are suffering but like everything in life you have to want to help yourself in order to you know really make some big changes all right oh man watch out we got a big truck about to pull off so it looks like they're doing construction they're building some some sort of apartments now here in this area there's actually a lot of shelters as well there's actually a one shelter right here this is the midnight mission but the problem with the shelters are actually it's not a problem they offer housing and food for a lot of individuals the problem is is that they have requirements wow look at this guy 
is that they have requirements. A lot of them require you to not be under the influence of alcohol, under the influence of drugs. You have to show up, excuse me, by a certain time every evening. And if you don't make it within those times or you don't follow those rules, then of course they don't allow you to spend the night. So, you know, it's like everything. There's rules and you have to abide by them if you want to be allowed to spend the night. Man, this place looks crazy. What runs through your mind, Gladys, as we drive around these streets? I mean, you were with me on, the reason why I'm filming this video, actually, guys, is because a video just went viral of Gladys and I, um, two years ago, we were out in Portland filming the situation, and I said that Portland, Portland, downtown Portland, looked like the new Skid Row, and I figured, why not let me give you guys a little update of Los Angeles area, but what runs through your mind, Gladys? Uh, well, it's very sad. Very sad to see this. Um, I don't know why this happened in US. You know, like there are so many people suffering here all around the world, all around the world. But here it's like they're contained here in this area, you know. And well, also we drove all the way from here to Portland, and in, in Portland was rough, also. I mean, you can see people living under the freeways under the freeways That's yeah crazy. it is crazy especially because i can imagine gladys like your first time coming to us you obviously visited miami first um and what year was that what it was like 2016 that you came to us for your first time yeah i don't remember probably 2017 2017 but, yeah. but Either way, your whole life growing up, you had like a certain impression on life in the United States, right? Yeah, I think everybody thinks US is perfect. No, but it's not. At the end of the day, it's a country. So just like any other country um, with problems. With so problems, many yeah. Problems. And one of the biggest problems here is this one, the homeless situation of so many people. Yeah, the homeless situation is rough, but yeah guys so right now we're turning over on san pedro and fifth they got some speakers blasting over there people dancing i mean yeah you you just see so many lost souls here on these streets walking around and it honestly breaks your heart seeing because you're like dude how how do you know people end up at this this point in life especially because I don't know like we all start off the same way like everybody's just like born healthy you know you come from a place where you know you have some you have goals and things that you look forward to but where in life does all of that start to change yeah, you know a, it's just what you said just one action one action just away one action away maybe that thing that somebody is offering you to consume and you don't know how your body is going to react or maybe there's also people that are not here because of the um chemicals yeah because of chemicals. because of uh, chemical substances yeah maybe they're here because they don't have enough money to pay the rent or they're they rather pay medicines exactly on food or on rent you know and that's why it's so so sad and that's another big problem guys is as I mentioned, there's a lot of people out here on these streets that, you know, are on these streets because they, you know, are addicted to chemical substance, chemical substances or, uh, um, you know, men, uh, there's also a lot of people that, you know, are ex-convicts that have came home from prison and have found absolutely nothing. So they end up on the streets here in Skid Row. But then there are also, I'm sorry, I'm getting so distracted, but then there are also plenty of people like look at this guy like what is he doing like what what is that man doing look at him only in Los Angeles like what is going on here man I know for him It's hard. It's hard to see all these um, these people out here that are in this situation. 
but I wanted to show you guys this because this is very much a reality of my country and a lot of you guys always tell me well you always show the bad parts of other countries but you never show us the bad parts of the US guys I show I just keep it real I don't show you the bad parts I don't show you the parts that look rough for no reason I just show show them to you because it's very much the reality like I could show you all the palm trees beautiful beaches but if I don't show you this, then I don't show you Los Angeles because this is very much LA. Anybody that says this is not Los Angeles, oh, this is only in one area, they're lying to you guys because most of the areas in Los Angeles are starting to look this way. And even in my city, you got RVs parked absolutely everywhere that don't even run, that have been there for months now, that people are just simply calling home. And, you know, it's rough to see just how bad it's actually getting out here i mean it doesn't matter which area of southern california you're in right about now you're driving around and you're just seeing people rolling around and uh rolling around suitcases talking to themselves it's very hard to see but as gladys mentioned there's also a lot of people out here on these streets that um i watched a documentary not long ago and they were interviewing a lot of people on the streets here there's a lot of people on the streets that are out here because well they have like some very rough medical conditions and the medicine that they actually take is too expensive and it's either life or death so most people result to um, sleeping in tents and they're still working normal jobs but they're sleeping in tents because they can't afford rent and their medication so they're spending their money on their medication just to stay alive and it's sad that we live in a world where you know you have to be stuck in a position to make those choices on whether or not you're gonna buy your medication or pay for rent. And same same goes with food. I mean, the cost of living is just ridiculous right now in the United States and a lot of people can't survive. I mean, the struggle is real out here. It's extremely hard. I mean, you got people that are living in households here in Los Angeles with three people that work full-time jobs and they're still struggling to make ends meet. I mean. Life is hard out here. Things are very expensive. It's only getting worse as time goes on. But hopefully things get better now. Let me know what you guys think of this video. I mean, I'm just sitting in the car driving around, chopping it up with you guys, but sometimes uh, this is much needed. I mean, it's nice to... Man, crazy. It's nice to catch up and chop it up, especially because it's been a while. It's been a while since we've done a little chill video like this. What is she doing? Is she doing her makeup? I think so. Cleaning the eyebrows. Cleaning the eyebrows? Oh, he's all lakered up. It's playoff season, baby. Let's go. All right. Well, let's actually turn over on this street right now. Now, for all of you guys who have never been to Los Angeles, let me know what you guys think of this video so far. What are you guys thinking as you're seeing these images? What comes to your mind? Now, we'll be doing a little video in a few in a few months once I make it back, giving back to a lot of these individuals. However, right now I am very much short on time. We've only had a few days here in Los Angeles to make a little series for you guys. And when I'm at home, I usually love to spend that quality time with my family um, however we have managed to get away to make a couple videos for you guys over the course of the la of these last few days but um, yeah let's actually get a little bit closer over in this direction now what you're seeing is a lot of like um, tarps and tents but you'll be surprised some people actually come out here and they'll start building full-on homes out of like two by fours and sheets of plywood it's quite interesting some of these creations that people come up with i mean look at these ones dude has a couch several bicycles all kinds of um, different chairs and places to sit down over here yeah you got a bunch of tents and the city has tried to make some changes but it just doesn't work guys i mean like they've tried installing like um, porta potties and places to wash your hands to help cut down on diseases and to help stop people from using the bathroom just absolutely everywhere. But it doesn't work. People just use those um, porta potties to go in and get high. And it's really sad, man. It's sad that the resources that you know the government puts out to try and help others 
just simply don't work because people just as i mentioned they don't want to help themselves and like that rv that you just saw there that's actually um a very popular site here in los angeles as well you actually don't see well you do see a lot of tents like these ones but man the rv scene is becoming very very popular i mean look at this tent that's an expensive tent like i've bought tents before that is at least like a 200 dollar tent that's a big setup you see yeah it's a huge setup wow. well you know what let's do one more little loop and then we'll um we'll bring this video to an end but i hope you guys enjoyed it i mean i just wanted to log on show you guys a little different reality of the u.s it's been a while since i've made one of these videos and i think it's important to mix it up now um we just got done driving around we we're actually heading to universal studios today you're gonna see that video coming up very soon but <laughs> i showed up on the wrong day <laughs> so right now we're just we. driving around we did yeah but it was my fault for not double checking the tickets but then it was also gladys's fault for not checking my tickets neither because yeah. she should know better now we've been together for a while and she knows that she always has to check up on me because i i always i'm poor at planning man yeah we gotta we gotta be like at the diving center double check for everything double checking for everything exactly now um yeah tomorrow we're gonna be visiting universal studios nintendo world but oh man excuse me hold on i gotta do that over but for now we're just gonna enjoy a little little bit of time here in downtown los angeles now um as i mentioned it is very rough down here but it's also very beautiful as well i mean there's plenty of nice places trendy cafes nice little malls bookstores that you can come check out but look at this guys the most iconic skyline in the world surrounded by tents los angeles california nowhere else in the world quite like it but also nowhere else in the world where you're gonna see this kind of suffering it's it's quite unreal it's very unreal actually so yeah let's just cruise down this street and you know just have a look at a few more different setups a few more different tents that are out here now, there's a lot of wheelchairs and stuff out here like some pocket bikes and there's this dude has a generator all kinds of tools yeah and you can imagine like living out here is extremely rough i mean during the summer it gets extremely hot brutal like living in these plastic tents oh man i can't even imagine it has to be terrible and then right now it's freezing like it's cold out there yeah. yet um a lot of these people have nothing but the tents and you know what's crazy is that all of these small businesses they're all being affected by this i mean look at these tents right next to these small businesses a lot of people wheeling around suitcases almost like if they just got stranded here oh man guys well you know what what time what time are we at right now let's see 23 minutes you know what guys i think that's going to be the end of this little video i've been driving around now for a little bit and yeah i just wanted to show you a different different reality of the city let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys thought about gladys's impressions <laughs> <laughs> now gladys real quickly before we cut off this video we are sh we are um I am showing everybody all of the tents and um, you know the not so nice area of downtown LA even though like I said a lot of places look like this but what is your favorite part about downtown Los Angeles this area because I know um, you like it the historical buildings the historical buildings yeah. the theaters, um, yeah there's some cool stuff here too yeah I took her to a place called the last bookstore which is yeah, crazy yeah, like they have all kinds of different assortments of books and all kinds of different shapes bridges of books you can walk under well, it's pretty cool look, this is very very nice they it look is like the buildings in New York right but oh my god look at the homie <laughs> oh shit yeah yeah hey 
<laughs> I see you, bro. I see you. Oh my God. Hey. He does the moon. Bro. I see you, bro. Hey, that's Jesus, Jesus baby. Jesus, baby. Hey, that's hard. You got the moves, bro. Mick Jagger don't got nothing on you. <laughs> oh man, no. Hey, good people out here, though. Like I said, good people out here. Um, just people that are going through some struggle, man. And sometimes, you know, I don't. I don't even know. I don't even even really know where to go with this because there's just so many. I don't like to be the type of person to judge. So I've been trying to make this non-judgmental because, like I said, life is crazy. I could end up here one day. We all can. So we have to put put each other in other people's shoes. We're all like one step away from ending up in a situation like this. Um, all it takes is one very unfortunate situation. So, yeah, with that being said, um, I'm done, guys. Wow, look, this is the homie with the leaves that we saw earlier. Man, he's on a good one. Oh, man, poor him. Man, he's on a good one. Yeah, guys. Don't smoke nothing crazy. Stay away from drugs. And don't smoke nothing. Don't smoke nothing. Gladys isn't a fan of smoking anything, huh? I say smoke a J every once in a while. Do no, you? don't do don't that. Don't do that. She don't agree. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is Skid Row, Los Angeles, California. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a video from Universal. <laughs> wow, look how crazy all the street vendors. Oh, yeah, they're street vendors. <laughs> But see how the contrast changes like it goes from that to you know pretty nice but then again like yeah you still got a lot of crazies out here and they're the ones that are having the major impact on all of the small lo local businesses which um doesn't allow this area to actually prosper and become super trendy i mean look at this place it could be like manhattan it could be super popping it could have so much going on i mean they got the central market um a bunch of really cool trendy areas but like i said it doesn't have the people here don't give it the time to actually bounce back because well a lot of these people like look at this guy he's talking to the floor a lot of these people come out from you know that area that we we're just driving in into these areas and stand out front of businesses um you see stuff on the news happening all the time like homeless person attacks this lady or homeless person poops takes on his clothes and starts pooping and peeing in front of a business and you know those incidents don't allow this area to become uh, the downtown, the trendy downtown Los Angeles if that it can be. If you're a tourist, you actually come and stay here. Don't stay here. No, right? Don't stay in downtown this Los is an Angeles. Area to avoid. Yeah, most tourists come here and they do not stay here. I mean, look at this person. You only this guy's in a bra, yeah. half naked with a blanket on him, standing at the trash can. You only come here to, to do this, to get get in the car, right? To see the buildings, maybe to uh, eat an ice cream or walk a little bit, but not so much. But not so much. However, I will show you the other side of this of of downtown Los Angeles here soon. We'll visit the Central Market, the bookstore. We'll go to Little Damage, ask uh, uh, Gladys's favorite ice cream shop. And yeah, I want to come and uh, do like a walking tour. A walking tour, but a proper one, and not showing you guys just Skid Row because there's a lot more that this area has to offer. However. A lot of you guys have been asking me about Skid Row, and you guys have every right to. There's not many places in the world quite like it, and you know it's interesting. It's interesting for a lot of you. So, yeah, guys. With that being said, I'll leave you until the next one. Later, guys. Gladys, thank you so much, My and thank you for joining course. me on a one and a half hour pointless drive to Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But um, it was my fault too for not double checking. And it was fun. It was fun to be fair. We made something out of it. We're here. Um, we're here. And maybe we go around Figueroa. Where the hoes at? <laughs> Excuse my language. But um, yeah, guys, see you again soon for another one. Later. You were always smarter.